वेलकम टू परिडा अकेडमी सो टुडे वील डिस्कस द चैप्टर वन पॉइंट टू दिस इज द इंग्लिश चैप्टर एंड स्टैंडर्ड सेवेन स्टैंडर्ड स्टैंडर्ड सेवेन चैप्टर वन पॉइंट टू दिस इज मंडे मॉर्निंग ओके मंडे मॉर्निंग on day morning okay so uh, some students are asking me sir please sir upload the 1.2 of english video uh, the monday morning question answer they will need actually so that's why uh, i will uploading this video today so you i i i think you just uh, like my video and share with your friends okay thank you let's come to the uh, video or your chapter okay first question is why did tom wees he was sick so answer is he could then stay home from school okay then question number 2 what was wrong with tom's toe it was a little sore so question number 3 why did tom decide to hold his loose tooth in reverse he feared that his aunt would pull it out and it would hurt okay then what was sit doing while tom was gurning sid was in deep sleep and was snoring all right okay snoring the next question question number 5 what did tom do to make sid wake up sid woke up only when tom shook him then question number 6 Why did Aunt Polly ask Tom to shut up and climb out of his bed? She saw that there was nothing serious with Tom, and he was just fooling. Then question number seven: Describe Aunt Polly dental instrument. It was just silk thread and a pan of burning coals. Then question number eight: How did Aunt Polly? pull out tom's loose tooth what does this is so about her character she tied one end of the silk thread to tom's tooth she tied the other end to the bed post then she took a pan of burning coals suddenly she thrust it almost into tom's face in fear tom drew his face away the loose tooth at once got pulled out with the silk thread so this incident is so that aunt foley is a sensible intelligent and practical woman she loves tom but also knows how to deal with his mischiefs mischiefs okay then question number 9 come to the 9 question number 9 so i hope you just you just you get your question with answer so just follow like share my video what idea do you form about tom from this story tom disliked going to school he always tried to stay home from school he was particularly unhappy on monday morning he thought with monday began another weeks suffering at school tom had a sharp mind he could invent many excuses sometimes he excuse did not work his little tricks make us laugh okay kitna jhoot bol raha tha okay next question number 10 comment on sid's role in the story sid plays an important role in the story it is he who brings propagation in the story but for for him the story could not have moved forward it is he who informs aunt foley of tom's trouble and from there the story reaches it its climax then question number 11 one of the boys says sore grips why does he say that and what does he mean by it okay so he say sore grips from someone who pretends to dislike something which he himself cannot have or do 
One of the boys says that there is nothing big about Tom's way of spitting. He says this because he himself cannot do it the it the way Tom Tom can. This is what one of the boys means when he says sore care graves. Okay. Then next question, question number twelve, we will discuss. Now question number twelve. What was Tom's trial and what was the compensation he got? Tom's trial was the play pain he had to undergo when his tooth was pulled out by Aunt Foley. Okay. The compensation he got was the envy of the boys who saw him expectorate in a new and admirable way. Then Hodge's question answer. Uh, if you want to write this hot question answer, then you can pause this video and you just write the hots. So Sid came running to me. He said that Thomas dying. I was shocked to death. At once I ran to Tom's bedroom. I asked him what the matter was. He said that his uh, sore uh, toe was killing him. Uh, what a relief I felt. I at once knew that there was nothing serious. Tom was just fooling so that he could stay home from school. Okay. Then question number two. I was shocked to death when Sid came running and said that Tom was dying. I at once ran to Tom's bedroom. I asked Tom what the matter was. He said that his sore toe was killing him. I at once understood it was just one of the his tricks to stay home from school. I have a I sigh of great relief. I asked to I asked Tom to stop that nonsense and get out of his bed. Okay. The next question. So here is the word flower. So you can see. You just pause this video and write your answer. Okay. This is the find from the box three other words that have almost the same meaning. Seed, grass, clutch, catcher. Find from the box three other words that have almost the same meaning. This, this, and this. Ek meaning, one meaning. So then question number two: Are we full? Are we fearful, horrible, and deadful? Okay. So Goran, one grumble, lament, response, reply, answer, reactions, investigate, example, search, examine, sorry, examine, search, and inquiry. Okay, then simultaneously at the same time. Then second I, I'll give particular answer. You 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 can't find any other uh, other sites. Or other source that I will give you on in this video okay so you must uh, write this thing in your copy so I will give you perfect questions with answer okay so use the following phrases in the simple sentence of your own I'm not at all satisfied with your work okay then we fell to eating eating as soon as the dinner was served question number three the thief ran off, off with a policeman at his heels. She came running and gasped out, gasped out a few words. Then I need only 50 rupees for the present. Although we lost our team, played with great spirit. Okay. Then come to the question number third I. So you just see, use the following pairs of the word sentence to show the difference in their meaning. So die, the old man died at night, day, she dead, her hair brown. So since question number two, sore, I have a sore throat, so this grapes are sore. So pain, I had a little pain in my leg, pain, a pain of my window is broken. Then lose this shirt is to lose for me, lose, loss. We lost our teeth in old days. Then question number five there. 
who was standing there with you then they are the boys who are talking to their teachers okay then next question number 6 week there are seven days in a week then a week the old man looked very weak then a break he fell down at and uh, broke his leg and a break the brakes of my car don't work then eight number course there was no other course left for me course school bags are made from course cloth okay then come to the grammar in use so one by one i will give you all question with answer so now so here are some question uh, join the following pairs of sentence by using because so this question answer I, here is written with your answer so this uh, just look at this sentence because he did not work hard he felt this is only answer so you just uh, write your question with from your book and you just uh, uh, write answer from this video okay because he was worked hard he will succeed because it is a long journey you should start early then because there is a strike he is not going to work because it was raining heavily the meeting had to be postponed then because storm had made a row over nothing aunt fully was angry with him okay then rewrite in each sentence using not any uh, in place of no so no ke jagah isko likhna hai so first number he did not discover anything don't come come anywhere near me then they did not find anybody at home they did not go anywhere after supper they had not done any work for four days okay then now next my uncle cannot see anything without glasses then question number third i correct the following sentence correct karna hai so first is sit ask tom what the matter was question number 2 i asked the little girl what her name was then question number 3 aunt fully asked tom why he was crying then question number 4 the teacher asked misha where she was going then question number 5 i asked the tailor when my dress would be ready question number 6 the teacher asked mohan why he had told a lie okay then speaking and listening the right order so the answer is here you just uh, see this is the this is the answer you can pause this video okay the pause the video you can write the answer so first i shall remove the thermometer from its uh, tube and look at the column of mercury then i shall set the thermometer to that column stands below the normal then i shall place the ball of the thermometer inside the patient mouth and i will tell him to keep his mouth closed i shall leave it below his tongue for 2 to 3 minutes then i shall remove it from his mouth and read the temperature after that i shall put the thermometer back in the tube so yahan par this is the last end so i hope you just you just find your uh, all question and answer from this video so don't forget or like share and subscribe my channel okay thank you